think we are live on the other side too, okay? Morning, okay. Alibaba Huada. Okay, good. Good to see everyone here. Um, I think we just start, okay? Uh, today is our regular weekly graduates meeting. How, how many were here last uh, Saturday? New graduates. How many of you all are new graduates? Me, type me if you are new graduates. Okay, good. Okay, so good to see everyone here, okay? So uh, before I start, disclaimer again, whatever I share with you all today is for education purpose, it's not advice uh, to buy and sell. Type yes if you agree. Okay, good. So we have about 200 for 50 people. In the public, we have about 200 people coming in. Okay, so good. Let's get started. Okay, uh, as usual, we're going to do the three things. I thought uh, this time around, we do uh, a little slower, especially uh, the last few batch, uh, maybe in terms of your uh, basic, maybe not so clear. So I'll go through that process for uh, of scanning and uh, looking for stocks. Uh, on the other hand, those that are more experienced, okay, please be a bit patient because we got we have a, uh, quite a few new people that are here uh, this time around. Okay, so uh, as usual, let's we will go through the three parts. First, we will look look at the S and P five hundred first. Okay, then we will look, look at our portfolio. This is our portfolio. We quite a lot of uh, action recently, right? Um, but to take profit of stop up, stop up. Uh, we, we got quite a few action recently. And, and then after that, the last one, we will go into your stocks. Just now I did a poll uh, on uh, what are the stocks to really look at. Um, so later I'll take a look at what, what is your what's the answer? How what stocks do you want to look at uh, in terms of the in terms of the new stocks? Okay, that means not in the in the portfolio, what are the stocks that are not in the portfolio. Okay, we'll go through that later. Okay, so we have ZN. ZN is a stock that we're going to talk about. FB, uh, Adobe. Okay, ETNG we cover already, so we talk kind of Adobe. Okay, so if we have more time, then we will talk about um, uh, other stocks also. Okay, so public, those people in the stream yard, in the Facebook group. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh. Okay, you can hear me? Okay. So um, yeah, so whatever I share with you all today is for education purpose, it's not advice to uh, buy and sell, okay? Okay, good, uh, let's get started. Wow, we have like 400 people, 300 over people in the public group right now. Okay, so let's get started. First, we will look at the S&P 500 first, okay? S&P 500 first. Okay, uh, S&P 500, as usual, we will use the Trader GPS instead of just the, the normal MA. So uh, since uh, June, okay, the candle has turned blue. That's, that's to tell us that on the longer term, the trend has turned bullish, okay? And uh, it has broken the resistance. A few weeks ago, it had broken the resistance. And right now, it is just uh, heading up. Okay, so longer term is bullish already. Okay, it's hitting our resistance. Last week we talked about that. It's hitting our resistance it's right at the resistance uh, right now. Okay, on the daily charts, uh, daily charts, uh, same thing. We have uh, ch it changing from red, uh, blue to red, red to blue right now. And the trend is actually uh, uh, not weak. Okay, actually the trend is not weak. You can see that the teeth is uh heading upwards okay also okay as it hits resistance uh we are cautiously bullish okay i i, I think uh, let's see whether you can break this resistance but the trend is uh bullish okay for s p 500 right now okay um any question have um hopefully it will hit new high okay so with tonight it will keep new high then you will uh then you have another so another up momentum again. Okay. Actually, momentum is not dropping. Okay, momentum is uh, improving. Okay, compared to prior. Okay, like example here, it was teeth was low. Okay, uh, teeth was low. Okay, right now the teeth is actually hitting higher. Okay, 
it's in higher. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it hit all time high, but I think it to be more convincing. Uh. That means it must like a bit more convincing high. Okay. That means it must be a bit higher. Okay. Then it is good. Okay. So maybe today, tomorrow, if it clears this high, I think it will be good. Got it? Okay. Okay, so this S&P 500 currently, uh, if we look at the MA, we should not see that it's downtrend, okay? It is still uptrend, okay? For the daily charts, if you look at the weekly charts, also it has changed from uh, down, okay? To the price crossing 40 MA, and then right now, these two lines is also go above already, okay? So in, in any way, guys, okay, do not uh, use the trader GPS, I think it's the safest, uh, oh? Okay, so uh, for SMT graduates, basically, is and the idea is to use this as a hedge. Okay, use this as a hedge. I have actually last about three weeks already. This is the third week. Okay, that means uh, this this is the third week already. For last two weeks, I've been mentioning uh, that the SMP is not weak. Yes or no? That yes. If you all have been to my previous webinar, okay, I said the SMP is not weak. Yes or no? Okay, since two. This is the third week already. So the last two weeks, I've been mentioning that the S&P is not weak. So since about two weeks ago, it went up about 3% again. Okay, so um, so current trend is the correct trend. Current trend, we look at up and just look at up. Lah, okay, don't, don't see where will be the highest point and it will turn. I don't know. Ah, okay, I, I just look at what's currently right now and just trade that trend, okay? So uh, that will be S&P 500. Any question, uh, graduates or anybody out there? No, uh, okay. So next will be um, NASDAQ. Let's look at NASDAQ. Okay, uh, last week I mentioned that uh, tech has changed. Okay, from tech being weak last week, I mentioned that tech started to be strong. Yes or no? Okay, last week I also mentioned this. Uh, type yes if you agree last week i already mentioned that tech starting to pick it up again okay so uh yeah so tech uh passed beta now okay for about three weeks it was uh, tech was weak and then last week they, they passed back up again and then uh rotate back again into the tech okay so uh it's also heading up we're breaking all time high going up okay so this is for Nasdaq. Okay. So guys, the hedge I mentioned previously already, the hedge is for you like an insurance. Okay. Like you buy, you it's an insurance. It's not for you to make money. The purpose of hedge is when you have too many long position, then you want to hedge some to protect your downside. Okay. The idea is not to make money. Okay. Uh, then the next question is, if I know that the market is going up, why I hedge is because you want to buy insurance. Ah. You can can you decide not to buy any insurance? You can also lah. But uh, so the the when I talk about the market is to know how much insurance to buy. Do you follow what I'm saying? And it's not for you to make money from the insurance. That's not the idea. Got it? Also mentioned this before already. Yes or no? Okay. In terms of your hedge. Okay. So the idea of hedging is to short the weak stock. But even when the stock is going uh. If the market is going up hopefully these stocks go up lesser compared to those stocks that you already have so you are play, playing on the relative strength okay type yes if you are good type or type good if you are good <laughs> okay so um next let's go into the oh by the way the public can you all please like and share uh the button especially the public okay Please like and share the post. Okay. Can you please like and share this post? Okay. So uh, Christopher asked how much percentage to hedge. Yeah, that's what I was mentioning, right? That if you it can be like out of the full portfolio, you can hedge maybe 30%, 40%, even 50% of your position. Okay. So that is how much to hedge is how bullish or bearish you are. If you are very, very bearish. Uh, 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 then you may have lesser long and even more short. Okay, but right now the market is bullish. Uh. Yes or no? Okay. So next we go into uh, Hang Seng Index. Okay, Hang Seng Index is sideways still. Okay, it's sideways still. You go into the weekly charts first. 
mood is bearish okay the mood is bearish we are stuck in this uh, range okay so the range is between here and and here okay this is the range for the long term to 2400 and 2400 this one and then 2026000 2, okay this is the range okay so go into the shorter term go into the shorter term uh then it's this range okay so hang seng is stuck in the range right now okay but i also mentioned uh previously in our graduates webinar that if you are long term uh okay lah, okay if you are long term buy because last time you mentioned about this uh, before yes or no okay i mentioned about the long term uh on hang seng okay but long term the context is you don't keep looking at it lah, okay so you can buy some into long term into the trend okay so the context is this line here this line here basically uh, went through all the crises uh, okay whether it's the asia financial crisis the sars period global financial crisis or even the um, recent crisis okay it can be here it can be here doesn't matter but we are not at the higher part of the range we are at the lower part of the range okay so that but this is long-term context uh, okay um can, what can we buy that is similar to hsi i don't know like if you ask me uh, i prefer to buy sti so let, let me go to sti right now okay because in terms of currency you have a better uh it's not you don't have the currency risk okay compared to the hong kong okay so if you look at the this is long term uh, back to long term again so long term, you can see the Asia financial crisis, uh, SARS, global financial crisis. We are around here, okay? It can drop maybe around 10%, 5%, but area to buy, okay? Area to buy if you're long term for um, STI. If you ask me STI and Hang Seng, I prefer the STI because currency risk, because you don't need to have the currency risk you are you, in Singapore, okay? And, sec uh, and second thing is um, also is at a better value, okay? Got it? Okay, currency risk can be quite big, it's quite significant, okay? Because if it's back to the US dollar, and let's say example, our Singapore dollar strengthen, okay, against the US dollar, then, then it can be quite significant, okay? STI ETF, the name is called ES3, okay, ES3, called STI ETF. STI ETF is like stocks, so you can buy the stocks, okay, like, like the ETF, okay. Again, I share with you all for education, okay, not advice to buy and sell. Please go and do the research, okay. STI ETF is ES3, you can buy like a stock, buy long term. Uh, the good thing is this thing pays dividend, okay? It pays about 3%, around 3% around uh, dividend. Every uh, year, it pays about 3%. Okay, so you get paid 3% while you wait. Lah. Okay, better than your bank, lah. yes or no? And you are buying at good value right now. Okay, so that is for STI. Okay. Okay. Um, Anyone verify the 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 dividend is around three percent, right? Okay, never mind. Let's let's go to the next one. Um, let's go to okay. So STI, let's do in the shorter term weekly charts. Go to shorter term. Um, weekly chart again. We are in a range right now. Four plus already, huh? Wow, four point five. Thank you very much. Okay, because price dropped so much, ah. Huh? So right now it's about four plus percent already. Good or no good? I think not bad, lah. Yes or no? Oh, four percent you put in the bank. Now what's the interest rate for the bank right now? Uh, I don't know, lah. Okay, so you have to pay as you wait, and then you have also good value. Okay, but the only thing is you must hold. Okay, you must hold. Uh, there may be a better time to buy even. Okay, but you bring long term. For me, I can do about uh, 
I can do dollar cost averaging. That means every few months I buy into, or every month I buy into the STI ETF. Okay, every month I buy into the STI ETF. Okay, so that is the thing. Okay, so uh, you're not buying just for dividend. You're buying because of the, you're buying because of the value lah. Okay, not because of dividend. Okay. So N is in US dollar. So you track the US dollar versus the Sing dollar. Okay, uh, sorry, it's in Sing dollar. So you track the US dollar over Sing dollar. Over time, over period of 20 years, you very quiet uh, compared to US dollar. Okay. You all know that, right? Okay, I, I don't want to go to the US dollar chart, but you all know, right? Over, let's say 10 years, 20 years, the Sing dollars always strengthen against US dollars. Okay, so um, next is, Okay, any question on all the markets outside here? We have about wow, 600 people right now. Any question? Oh, by the way, please like and share, okay, uh, this uh, post. If uh, for people don't like, uh, we've got angry face. Okay, well, two angry face. If you don't like, can leave, okay? Uh, two, okay? So no need to angry, angry like, just leave, okay? Okay, so any question? Okay, no question. Just uh, next one. Um, let's go into individual stocks. Uh, we have ZM. Okay, ZM recently hot signal. Okay, some of you all uh, already entered ZM. Yes or no? Okay, so you have, how, how many have ZM right now currently? Okay, that ZM, you have ZM. Okay, so ZM is a new stock. Okay, the previous one, we took profit already. Those people in the previous uh, webinar, because they may not know, we have already take profit to uh, for ZM previously. Okay, we got in on the 2nd February. Okay, oh, no, so not 2nd February, 17th February, but we already taken profit one once already. Okay, we have taken profit once already. So um, that is the, the thing, okay? Oh, so previously our ZM already locked out already. So we got in since uh, 17 February. We got out on the 3rd of August. Okay, 3rd of August, we got out. Uh, that is when this thing came out. Okay, so the 3rd of August was this thing, when this thing came out, came out. We exited, we locked in 172%. Okay, so next one is um, now it's a new signal. Okay. Got it? Okay, so P1062 high, uh, don't look at all this thing, one, okay? Guys, don't talk about PE, okay? Don't talk about PE, you talk about Mondena, 90, 90, how many percent? 91 percent we made, right? Don't even have earnings, don't talk about earnings, okay? No earnings at all. <laughs> okay, at least it's still earning, right? So, uh, you cannot use this, okay? You cannot use a uh, PE ratio, okay? Like Mondena, like some of the stocks that we go in, the PE ratio is crazy, like. Okay, so uh, next is okay. Again, if you're wrong, then we cut, lah. Okay, okay. If you're wrong, we cut. Uh, now we log in one time already, hundred and seventy-two percent. Now it's the next signal, okay? This is a consolidation, and then this will break out into the consolidation, okay? So that will be ZM. Any question on ZM? So don't use PE ratio this kind of things, guys. Okay, if you use PE ratio this kind of things, you would enter an uh, MRNA. I think almost all the stock you may not enter. Okay, I, I don't know. Okay. Okay. So oh, by the way, how do you look at the screener? Okay, for those that are in the public. Uh, what we do is we can have a screener, okay? So you actually can do the same thing, position, daily charts, uh, go into NASDAQ, okay? NASDAQ, and then we rank by month. So basically look at last one month, what are the strong stocks right now that we can look at it, okay? What are the strong stocks, okay? So uh, like this is based on the latest day, okay, latest day, and some of the stocks like, uh, this one, I don't know what is this, Dada, Nexus, uh, LVGO. So all these are stocks that have signal today, okay? Like example, Hua Shu have a signal uh, today, HTHT, 
have a signal today, okay? There's an arrow right now, okay? Like example, uh, LVGO, today is the arrow 13. So there's a signal today, okay? That's how we select stock, okay? Of course, we don't select the 13 one, okay? 13 a bit too late already. Okay, so ZM was actually uh, just uh, the day before, Thursday, okay? So how do we buy after we get, uh, this is daily position. So after we get daily position, how do we take action? Okay, when the price cross the high, yes or no? When the price price was the high, there will be our entry. Okay, this is what trade. This is position trading. Okay, so no need to look at CCI all these things. Got it? Okay, position trading. Okay, you're doing swing trading is a different thing. Okay, just a doing position trading. Should I add more since closing? No, please don't do that. Okay, whatever you've done, just follow that trade. Okay, don't drop that add more. It may be wrong. Okay, it may be wrong. That means it may be after this, go down. Okay. Okay, so for those that have not entered, I think still can enter. Okay. For those that first time have ever entered, we still can enter. Okay, for this stock. Up to you. Okay, whether you're ignore the uh, earnings day is up to you. For me, uh, I'm not so concerned, okay? Uh, for some, they are concerned that the price gap down and things like that. For me, I just follow the signal. In fact, all these stocks here that we trade are all past entry, uh, past earnings one. That means during earnings, we do not take profit. Do you follow what I'm saying? Or cut loss or close off the position. So all these stocks, right? Like e ETSY, NVIDIA, all this, right? we already went past earning already. Got it? So for me, it's very um, mechanical. Just look at the arrow, look for the entry, buy, okay? So this is actually first arrow, okay? This is the first uh, valid arrow. Yes or no? So how many percent should we enter? So you got three entries, huh? okay? Hopefully you got three entries, huh? okay? So 50%, okay? So who have uh, ZM? Like ZM, okay, so that's what I have ready, right? Okay, thank you. Okay, again, what I share with you all is there is no 100%. Yes or no? There's no 100%, can it be wrong? Everything can be wrong, huh? okay? Next one is ERMB. Okay, right now we have like 650 people right now. Okay, this one we need to get the SMT graduate to... Uh, uh, do you recommend... Do you recommend SMT to the public? If you do that, can you all please type in SMT? Okay, at least people who are in the public, they know that what we are going through, what is in the community, what we happen and things like that. Okay, so uh, for those that are in the uh, public, at least you know what's happening inside the SMT community. Okay, so if you want to find out more about the SMT community, or oh, this is a good time to... Uh, Okay, you want to find more about the SMT community, you can go to this link, okay? And you can find out more about our SMT community. Okay, so let me move on. Next one is uh, ETRMB. Okay, last week we went in. Last week we went in. Yes, disclaimer, three times ready, okay? So whatever I share with you all is for education purpose, okay? Three times ready. Okay, not advised to buy and sell, please, okay? So this one, we last week we went in, okay? Uh, it, breaks the, it broke the high. Yes or no? Okay. So are you in the roller coaster right now? Okay. TR, TRMB, who is in? That TRMB, if you're in. Okay. Okay. You're in the roller coaster right now. Okay. So almost every stock I go through this thing, one. Okay. When you trigger already, it went up. It went up about 2%. And then it went down. Now it's about flat. Okay, now it's about flat, okay? So hang on, okay? So uh, later as we go through the rest of the stock, you will understand why you must be able to hang on, okay? Next one, EBS, who is holding EBS? That EBS, if you're holding EBS, okay? So EBS is on uh, 3rd of August, we went in. So again, roller coaster. Who is in the roller coaster now? 3rd of August, we went in here, it went up. 20% hot, ha. then it went down. 6%, now you're a bit sian already, right, ground? Because it went back down 6%, okay? So now it's up about 11%, okay? So 
nothing nothing you need to do just hang on okay no need to do anything okay no signal then don't need to sell okay next one is who ya who is in who ya type who ya okay so who ya is down huh? okay so since the third of august also right now it's down about 10 percent okay is there anything you need to do do you need to do anything no need ah huh? just hang on okay let's hang on to the, the, the trade okay uh can it be wrong yes it can be wrong huh, guys okay i mentioned already uh it can still turn red okay then we get out huh? okay but right now nothing we just hang on okay next one is ET ENTG who is in ET ENTG type ENTG if you're in okay so again 3rd of August we went in down about 4% right now no signal to sell please don't anyhow cut loss okay please don't anyhow cut loss okay let's follow okay uh the only time you are very emotional is if you over trade yes or no if you hey wow, I didn't sure make money one go in more than usual if you are splitting I mean you are diversifying you are not over trading it, you should have no emotion agree or no, don't agree yes or no oh if you are very emotional about the trade chances are you're over trading okay chances are we already talked about this before okay how not to how not to do that okay give me a second huh? um okay uh next let me just check huh? this is okay you can hear me right the mic okay next is csgp csgp who has csgp i uh, see i mentioned one thing the volume low yes or no okay the volume is lower so uh right now it's consolidated okay so understand one thing stocks i had to digest digest one okay have to digest okay so csgp uh um up to you all, okay but i feel that the volume is a bit low if you get out it is not a, a big loss third of august we went in here third of august okay so the loss is minimal la. if you want to get out you can get out la. oh so but if you want to wait for the next move you can okay so up to you okay but for me i feel that the volume is a bit low okay so i i'll, I'll just keep it here because the reason why is because what it's because I already uh, put it into the thing. I will follow until the candlestick turn red. Do you all follow what I'm saying now? Okay. I will follow until the candlestick turn red. So for me personally, I will not, uh, based on portfolio, I wouldn't exit. But if you all want to move, the context, if you want to move to other stocks, then you sell and buy another stock. But for me, does this portfolio I will hang on until can I stick the rate? First, my purpose is to demonstrate the trailer GPS. Okay. Okay. Are we all good? Type good. If you are good, outside there, any question? Wow. So outside also a lot of people there. Okay. So um next one. Next one is GSX or GSX. Also a lot of roller coaster. Who is in GSX? <laughs> Type in GSX. Oh, already, I cannot be right. Who is in GSX? Well, this is a really roller coaster, right? Okay, since the day we went in, is already, huh? Oh, so, okay, so fast, huh? Okay, so 3rd of July, we the 6th of July, we went in. It's not very hot initially, immediately up 32%, then uh, up 32%, then it went down 16%, then it went up 15%. 69%, then it went down 31%. Okay, so wow, really roller coaster. Okay, this one haven't read candle yet. Okay, guys. Okay, haven't read candle yet. Okay, so red candle coming soon, huh? Okay. Uh if this thing drop below zero, then red candle will come out. But don't anticipate. Okay, don't anticipate. So for us, we got in 6th of July here. We are now up about it's still not bad, 38%. Are we good? 
Thirty-eight percent. Who has thirty-eight uh, percent still holding? Still holding GSX. Some of you are good. Okay, next one. Okay, PAS exited. PAAS exited. Ah, uh. another roller coaster. Yes or no? Okay. Went up. Uh, oh yeah, this one. This is a good example. Okay, why we need to hang on? You see, ah, uh, a lot of times, PASS we get get in here on the 1st of June, it went down immediately 13 to 15%, even 17%. But eventually it went up. Do you all follow what I'm saying? 30%. Okay, so at last we cut, we cut at this arrow here because uh, the candle turn rate, but never break below low. So the break below low is really here. Okay, so about 13%. Who has exited uh, PASAS? P -A -A -S. Type me if you have visited, okay, or type, okay, good, huh? you log in at least 13%. Uh, okay, let's, I missed one, huh? CSGG. CSGG not exit yet, right? Okay, CSGG, just hang on. Huh? Okay, roller coaster also, yes or no? It went up 30%, then it went down 15%. Uh, Who has this CSGG? Type in CSGG. Okay, guys, uh, those people, members of public, right? Trading, right, is very emotional. If you do not have a system, it's going to be very uh, stressful, okay? When you go up, you feel very happy. But when you go down, you feel very sad. Yes or no? Oh, so uh, for SMT course, we have a system. We have a way of getting in and out. It's not 100%. There are times we are wrong. Later, I'll show you some of the things we are wrong. But... Over time, we follow the system and let the system, then we have less stress, we perform better. Yes or no? Do you all agree? Those uh, SMT graduates, you all agree? You have a system, then you perform better. Okay, that is the idea. It is not perfect. Okay, just like GPS also wrong, right? Uh, make a U-turn, you know, a recalculating, make a U-turn. You just make U-turn, ah. you don't go and argue with the G GPS, right? Okay, why people don't argue with GPS? GPS, but argue with trader GPS. Okay, so that's the thing. Okay, so so this one we are up. Okay, we are still up uh, for this one. We are still up from the from CHGG, right? From twenty second of June. I tell you the best thing to do, right, for trading, uh, is what? What do you think the best thing to do in trading is to sit on your profits? Yes or no? It will sit on your profit. That is the best thing to do. Agree or not? That, yes, if you agree. It is not to go in and out, in and out, in and out. It's if you make money already, let's say you make 30% already. Uh, you're willing to sit on your profit. Now it's down to 13%, you still relax. Do you follow what I'm saying? And if the candle really turn rate, then you lock, lock out. Lah, you, know? okay? you don't go and say, ah, yeah, it should have been 30%. Do you follow what I'm saying? If not, nah, then Zoom or MRNA or these stocks, you may have exited already. Yes or no? You may not have run up 770%. Okay, so uh, for those public, uh, please, if you want to join us, join, uh, join us on Tuesday. Uh, not this Tuesday. Next Tuesday, I think we have another event coming up. So you can go to this link and join us for the next event uh, to be part of our SMT community. Okay? So uh, next one is ZOUP, I already exited. I just put it there so that, hey, by the way, just now the one PAAS, right? PAAS, you were holding uh, exit, lah, okay? Or follow the system. You exit already, what do you do? You look for something else. Got it? Okay, because uh, the momentum has dropped, look for something else, okay? Exit, do donation. Yay, thank you. Hey, by the way, uh, if you all make some money, not because of me, but make some money, uh, give, okay? Why is the reason you want to give? Is to tell you, your mind, uh, that money is not important. You know, money is not, you money don't have a hole, no, no, it's not important. Money don't have a hole in your life. Money don't have a hole in your life. That means you're playing the game, you, you use money, and then you, it's just a number. So, when you tell yourself money is not a, you don't have a hole in your life, huh? 
Then the interesting thing is money follow you. Do you follow what I'm saying? When you say, oh, I need this money, I need this money, I don't have this money, I die, right? Then you will not do so well one. Very weird one, okay? When, when you don't, when you like, I need this money, I need to make money, then oh, very, very risky. Oh, because I don't know how, why it works. Uh. It's like that, uh, okay? When you very, very need it, when you must have it, oh, then you cannot do it, okay? When you look at it very lightly and you say, I'm just a channel, I am I get blessed, I bless others, oh, it, it comes back to you, uh, okay? So next one, uh, COUP. COUP, we exited, okay? We exited um, already. So we got in on uh, 20. Who, who's still holding COUP? See, who's still holding COUP? Oh, exited already. If you exited COUP, type exit. Or bought and exited COUP, type exited. Okay, so 25%, not bad, yes or no? Okay, um, we got in on the 25th of May. Okay, 25th of May, and then we exited already. Okay, so the 25th of May was here. On this date, 25th of May, until the exit, exit was actually when the candlestick turn break below the low. Okay, so we break below around here, we exited about 25%. Okay, 25% in how long? May until August, three months. 25%. Not bad, uh, yes or no? Oh, next one. Okay, HZMP still holding. Who's still holding HZMP? Type HZMP. Okay, who's still holding HZMP? Type HZMP. Fantastic. I want to con I want to concur. I want to uh, give credit to you all. For those that are still holding HZMP, you went through that roller coaster. Yes or no? Oh, but you're still holding. A Pink Tuck is new graduate, right? Not too long ago, right? Crowd. So. You're still holding on. That's why you're letting the profit run. Do you follow what I'm saying? Oh, so from the day here, 18 of May until now, 18 of May until now, we have about 18 of May is here, close to 55% already. Yes or no? Oh, think that right from Malaysia, from Malaysia, right? Think that I mean, think that is Malaysia, Singapore, and I, I don't know, but um. Um, you are still PR here, okay? So fifty-six percent, and you are just relax. That's the best thing to do. Yes or no? Oh, that's the best thing to do, lah. Just relax and just let the thing run, okay? So that is uh, hits the MP. Nvidia, who is holding Nvidia? Type in Nvidia. Nvidia. Who is holding Nvidia? Type in Nvidia. So little, ah. This one is, hmm. I think public got a lot. Okay, let me see. Uh. Okay. Oh yeah, red arrow, right? It's not sell, uh. red candle is sell. Okay, some people public don't know, right? Red candle is sell, not red arrow, okay? MBDA, who is holding? Okay, fantastic. We are holding, we are still in the profit, 18 of May. 18 of May, which is here. Okay, next candle, 18 of May. Okay, so until here, 49%. If next candle is 44%. Okay, so for those holding, congratulations, continue to hold, relax, nothing to do. Okay, just hang on. Okay, for those that are not entered, uh, today the stock is the M. Okay, no need to enter <laughs> NVDA. Okay. Thanks to Bitcoin. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So um well outside also have quite a lot of NVDA. Okay, so good. Uh next one is ETSY. Who is still holding ETSY? Wow, fantastic. You're holding ETSY. How many still holding ETSY? Okay, so from the day we enter is about 57% or so. Yes or no? Okay, the day we enter was ETSY 11 of May. 11 of May is here. Okay, about 60%, guys. Around, uh, yes or no? Oh, around 60%. You're holding. Okay, one more thing to take note. You see, the day you enter, right? The day you enter, 
6, uh, 11 of May is here. Oh, it went up 5, 6% and then it went down 15%. Can you understand the psychology guys? Okay, it went up from here, right? Ran up from 11 of May, it went up next day, yeah? 11 of May, it went up 7%, 8%. But then it went down after that 15%. Do you all feel that psychologically it's very difficult? Huh? So, but if you have something like that, then you hang on, uh, huh? you hang on, and then that's why now we got 60%, uh, yes or no? No need stress, uh. what is stress? Just see, see candle only, right? So that's right, right now you have about 60%. Uh. Yes, okay, so those that are going through their new candles right now, then I need to do, okay? Cheryl asked, right, why not red candle come out when can when it's down? Okay, uh, that's, that's the good part, okay? If the red candle come down every time, red candle come down every time, red candle come down every time, then you get what we call whipsaw. Do you follow what I'm saying? You do not want red candle to come out. Got it? You do not want red candle to come out. You want to write the trend. Whipsaw, W-H-I-P-S-S-A-W. Okay, you get whipsaw. Okay, you want the red candle to don't come out. Okay, so let's continue to go through. Okay, so red candle then sell. Not red arrow, ah, red candle, okay? So next is whipsaw. Yes, that's the word called whipsaw. But let me move on, okay? Because the rest of the stocks are old stocks. All, all these stocks be exited already. MRNA, how many bought and exited? This one I think lesser. How many, how many bought and exited? MRNA, type MRNA or type me? Okay, but we have already exited. Yes or no? 91% already. Yes or no? Since 6th of April, our webinar day, and we called this stock 6th of April, until now, 91% exit ready low. Okay, don't need to buy already. Okay, and please don't go in again. Okay, move on to the next thing. Okay, move on to the next thing. Candlestick turn red, break below the low, move on to the next thing. Okay, for those new graduates, do you all know why there's no exit here? For, ah, uh, don't know. Uh. Okay, revision, okay. When the candlestick turn rate, you might, no thief, no, wrong, 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 <laughs> wrong, okay. Once the candlestick turn rate, turn, turn rate, uh, don't need thief, okay. Do not need thief, but it must break below the low of the candle. Yes or no? So this one didn't break the low, yes or no? This one also same thing, didn't break below the low of the candle. So don't need to exit. Got it? Okay, however, however, here is the exit, okay, here, when the candlestick below really low, that's the exit. Got it? How many stocks should be holding one time? Five. Okay? Don't need to hold so many, guys. Okay? Five stocks maximum. Okay? Any difference in the red and green bar of the volume? Don't have volume, ah. Okay? Don't have volume. We don't need to look at... Yes, zero point, not 0 0.02 percent, ah. Wrong. 0.2% Jingwei. Okay, 0.2%. Hedge excluding, okay, excluding hedge. Okay, um, do we need to pick stop loss when we enter? Usually I don't. You see all these, uh, I don't. Okay, but recently some people, uh, Mark, uh, very good. Uh, Mark, go and do this. Okay, do a dynamic stop loss. Okay, do a dynamic stop loss. So this dynamic stop loss, you all know how it works, right? Is after you enter already, after you enter already, oh, this day, then you put a dynamic stop loss here. That means you put in this one number here. Then you see the value over here. Then you can put this as a dynamic stop loss. Got it? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Okay, ZM, why can get back in again, guys? ZM has signal, right? Yes or no? Can the have signal, right? This one reset already, yes or no? 
Oh, reset already. Okay, because break below low reset already. So sell off already. And then this one, no entry because there's no thief. And then this one, no entry because no thief. This is the first arrow with thief. So two days ago when we screen, we actually have it on a strong stop. Got it? Okay. Who asked? Ah? Um, okay, you got it, yeah? Okay, let me move on. Next one is, uh, these are all we exited already, okay? Uh, RGN also we exited. Zoom also we exited. Then I show you already. RGN also exited, okay? This is about 30%. Who bought and sold RGN? I think this one lesser people, uh, okay? RGN, who bought and sold RGN? Okay, next one is, uh, now we have a new short position. Ayo. Why go backward again? MRNA. Why July here never exit? Because it didn't break below the low. Oh, it must break below the low. Okay, Ryan, go, go, go and look at the Bible. Okay, SMT Bible. Got it? 9th of July, no exit. Uh. Oh, 9th of July, no exit. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Um, LS, LHX, LHX. Okay, this is a short, uh, guys. Okay, this is a short. This is for you to hatch. Please, please, please don't go and use it as a make money one. Okay. Okay. Got it? Okay, this is a hatch. Yes, another thing, PTD, right? Guys, PTD, when you scan, why you all go back in again? We exited already, right? Yes or no? Type yes if you agree. We exited PTD already. Oh, but when you send scan, right? Does it appear on the strong stop? Uh, let's say this arrow thief. Uh. Arrow thief, uh. not strong stop. Never break six month high also. Yes or no? Hello? It didn't break six month high. It didn't break, not a strong stop. I don't know why you enter this stop. Okay. okay. Please don't do that, okay? Follow the rules. Okay, so let's move on. Uh. Okay, LSX again. L H. Uh, X again. This is a hatch, okay, guys. It's a hatch. Uh, wow, we have six, still six hundred over people watching. Please like and share, guys. Those people in the public, please like and share the post, okay? Uh, I will do a bit extended because we have a uh, public today, okay? So uh, this one is a is a swing trade, okay? For those that don't know what is swing trade, I give you this free uh, training. Uh, you can go to this place. Okay, you can watch the free, free swing trade training. Okay, haven't triggered yet, guys. Okay, so now the price goes from here to here. Okay, mark the low. Mark the low. Once it drop below the low, that will be the entry. I think it's hang on ah, because people disturb lah. Who this time? Uh? Okay, hang on. This. Let me remove this. Okay. Got it? Okay. So here, okay. Here is. Here is. Uh, oh, you, huh? <laughs> I'm joking with you. Okay. So you see the CCI high? Okay. Now the CCI is high here. Price go back up. Okay. Break below the low here. Put a stop. You want to put a stop loss? You can use the dynamic stop loss instead, okay? If you don't want to use the trailing stop. If you want to put the swing high stop will be here, okay? The swing high stop will be here. If you want to use the trailing stop, then will be, um, the trailing stop will be this one. Okay, the trailing stop will be one L, one SL, uh, okay? Will be here, okay? So either use this, or this yeah it must break the low okay it must break the low okay 
This is a swing trade. Okay, it's a swing trade. Okay, next. Ah, this one we got stop out. Five, five, three. Uh, yeah. Okay, guys, we got stop out for this. There is no 100%. Uh, okay, this one I got stop out. So you stop out what to do? Just get out. Uh. Got it? Okay, uh, swing trick set up. Here was the trigger because it went CCI low. Then it went up. It actually went up, actually. Okay, it went up a bit and then it went back down and then it break below the low. Okay, break below the low, the swing low, get out already. Got out. Okay, this is a weekly swing, uh, Hong Li. This is not daily, this is a weekly. First of all, daily is uh, five days, this is weekly. Okay. So get out, guys. Okay, don't blur, okay. Stop up miss, get out, la. sell. La. We stop, we got, we got out already, okay. Tap yes. Tap good, then we can move on. Okay, so our next one is uh, A50. Let's, I want to look at this instead. Trading view. Because I'm trading the index, okay? I'm not trading the, the stock, okay? So A50. Oh, let's, last four hour broke out again, huh? okay? Can you see? Last four hour it broke out again. And daily charts. Okay, so A50, um, this is the GMMA. Okay, you see how the GMMA guides the price. Support, 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 and then support, and then boom, break it out again. Okay, so now there's two resistance. First resistance is 1550. 15550. 15550. The other one is 15740. Okay, these are two, two levels to look at. Okay. This one, if you are longer term weekly charts, I think it's fine. Okay, the weekly chart is fine. Let me just remove everything. Why I'm bullish on the China, right? It's because of this. Okay. This is the long term resistance of China. Okay, you have broken the long term resistance. You have come back down. So if you are in this for longer term, I think it is okay. Oh, longer term is okay. So uh, you, you want to do, use the ATF, then you use a uh, 2823. Okay, 2823 can be the end, uh, proxy, okay, the ATF. Okay, 2823 or 2822, okay. How to get the resistance line is to, I don't know what you mean, okay, never mind. Okay, for swing trade, guys, there's a time stop. Daily swing, there's a time stop. Within five days, nothing happened, get out, okay? But weekly swing, usually I don't encourage you all to trade with daily swing, sorry. Daily swing, I don't encourage you all to trade. Okay, next one, FISL. This is a, again, it's a hedge, huh? It's a hedge, okay, guys? You, want, you don't need to make money from all this, okay? The idea is to, um, the idea is to, Oh, this is a swing shot. Sorry, swing ah, uh, swing shot. Weekly charts. Okay. Uh, this one you don't need to immediately take profit. Also, okay, guys, don't need to immediately take profit. Oh, next last week I it already. Leaching too fast already. Okay, so uh, you you're using a hatch, then hang on for a while more. Okay, because this one is like we only got in, I don't know, third of August or too fast already, huh? Okay, so um, so it's a hedge. Okay, so the idea of hedge is just to hedge, huh? Okay, like protection like that. Okay, third of August was actually only this third arrow only lah. Third, third candle only. Okay, next one is WB. Who is still holding WB? Type in WB. We're still holding on. So again, use it as a hatch. Can you all see it's downtrend? Yes or no? Oh, so use it as a hatch. Um, as a hatch, ah. Okay. So you're in. You're up about five percent. 
Hedge <laughs> make money is good. Don't make money is fine. Do you follow what I'm saying? Because you have long, then you just use this as a short, that's all. Oh, so this one, if it's make money, it's good. If it doesn't make money, also never mind. Okay, WB. Uh, FE, right? FE is another stocks that, uh, because I covered FE before, just want to share with you, FE is still uh, using Trader GPS. Still a whole, right? Yes or no? That yes, if you agree. FE is still a hole. It's a good hedge. Ah. Okay. Don't 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 do exit too fast also. Okay. Because you already find one good hedge. Ah. Don't don't go and uh, do it. Do so much things. Okay. So let me finish up. Then I look, I can go through your stops. Okay. Yes, for hedging, you need to be in bearish mode. Okay. You need to be in bearish mode. Okay, guys. Um in a bearish, bearish mode, okay? So for those public, uh, please, uh, you want to join us in our SMT community, you can join us. I type in this, okay? Join for our next uh, class, okay? Next class to be part of this community. We do this every uh, week, okay? We do this every week. We have uh, three days, uh, tra four days training, and then after that, we do this every week. And uh, yeah, okay? So next one is long-term one. Okay, all these are long-term. Do you want me to go, go through the long-term one? I think it's fine, huh? okay? This one long-term, no need to see. Lah. Okay, no need to see. Need to see. Ah. 700. Okay, last one. Ah. Then, then I go into your individual stocks, okay? I we, we do spend maybe 15 minutes, okay? Go through your individual stocks, okay? So this is uh these are long term, okay? Long term one to two years. So what do you do when you're long term? You all know what to do? What kind of charts will you see? Position weekly, okay? Position weekly, okay? So we're gonna position weekly and just hold on to it. Okay, no need to do anything. Okay, this is the way to uh trade with no stress, ah, okay? So next one, let's go into your individual stock. Let me go, go through the poll first, okay? See what are the stocks. ZM I covered already, okay? Um, talk about FB, okay? FB. Sorry, uh, guys, I don't have so much time to cover all your stocks, okay? Uh, I will choose a few and then we'll cover that few, okay? Uh, FB is, I think it's position trading. Oh, basically, hang on, uh, okay? I think some of you are in FB, right? I think because of this arrow here, basically now it's just a holding, okay? Nothing much you need to do. Just hang on to the stock, okay? Facebook, hang on to it. Um, wait for higher returns, okay? Next one is Adobe. These are all voice on our polling one. We got 66 vote on Adobe, okay? Um, also, hang on. Who is holding Adobe? Type Adobe, we are holding Adobe. Anybody? 66 vote. Leh. Adobe, nobody holding Adobe. Okay. So this no count. Uh, no count. This is arrow number one. Yes or no? Okay. So how to enter? Yeah, this one also can enter. Okay. Mark the high. Now you haven't break the high, mark the high. Once it breaks the high, like that, then it will be an entry. Okay. Type yes if you are good. Okay. Type yes if you are good. Okay. Let's see the ranking. Okay. A uh, ranking for this is this is ranked from where? Okay. This is ranked from. I just do a demonstration. Huh? Okay. Twentieth of August. Okay, 20th of August, we do a NAS, is it NASDAQ? NASDAQ, is it? Ah, NASDAQ, right? So NASDAQ, ranked by month. Okay, Zoom was there. Last month, where is Adobe? Ah, here lah, ranked 32, not bad, yes or no? Hello? 32, not bad lah. Oh, got Facebook, Adobe also. 
on that day. Okay. Sorry, let's put back here. Okay. Next is so can uh, this one I think not bad. Okay, can enter good good fine good fine. Okay. You can buy up to one stock, okay, one share only, okay. And the last one is Go G L D G O L D uh, got fifty five votes. G O L D and wow, this is so messy. If your entry haven't entered yet, okay. Yes or no. Type yes if you agree. Okay, because you mark the low, mark the low, mark the low, haven't entered. Please don't enter anyhow, enter. Huh? Okay. Yes or no? Because we have the arrow here. Didn't break the low, didn't break the low, didn't break the low. Hang on. Okay, if we break the low, then can enter. Yes or no? Is it ranked very high? Not very high, right? This one. And this one haven't, oh yeah, this one haven't reset. Uh. Thanks, thanks for reminding me. Okay, this one haven't reset. Okay, so the reset was because over here it didn't break the low, so yes or no? So it didn't reset. No reset, no reset, no reset. Didn't sell, yes or no? No, oh, didn't sell. Oh, so uh, and I don't know the ranking also. Okay, no reset. How many is holding a GOLD previously? Like what is the date you bought? Uh, low must uh, break below the low plus 2%. Okay. So then use the trader GPS to help you to get out. Okay. Usually I don't do the Warren Buffett style. Unless if you're Warren Buffett style, okay, let me ask you a question. Let me can I ask you a question. If you're Warren Buffett style and you're long term, what should what kind of chart should you do? Same thing la. here, weekly la. Yes or no? You shouldn't be doing daily charts. Yes or no? Then you are doing weekly charts. La. Got it? And this is not a sell signal huh? because it didn't break below low, okay? So you're doing weekly charts like that, okay? Okay, so uh, I've done the three stocks already. Um, so let's see what other stocks do you all want to see. So many stocks are those two. <laughs> Crazy, okay. How many stocks, okay? Let's look at the, I also look at the public. Uh, where's, the, where's the public? Public got also a lot. Adobe, we covered already, right? Okay, so public, if you have any stocks you want to see, uh, also post it up. Okay, I just choose some, choose some. Uh. Okay, let's take a look. Um, TDOC is it? OC. Okay, TDOC is daily charts. We exited right this one, huh? Okay, TDOC. This one shouldn't have an entry also. Okay, shouldn't have an entry also because I think it rank is not high. Okay, rank is not high. Um, what other stocks? D D O G. I I do choose some in the public, uh, guys, because your graduate, uh, you have access to me, right? Okay, but public don't have, so maybe you just use the public. D D O G actually uh exit already. Okay. Oh, so you can see from here, right? This is um. I will show you like that. Ah, uh, can you see? DDO, DDOG. You all know what to see? Uh, please don't short, uh, it's bullish. Okay, it's bullish. But can you all see what's happening to the stock right now? Oh, so 
or you can also use uh, you can also use GMMA. Okay, got it. Oh, like that. So the price when it announced, when the price came, it went down below the green lines. Got it? Went down below the green lines. So uh, like that. Right now, when you come to here, right, there will be resistance. Okay, last one is let's look at Wilma. Wilma is uh, what is the time frame? Uh, DN or who? Daily position. Okay, daily position. Okay, so wait for trigger. Lah. Okay, wait for trigger. Got it? Okay, this are no teeth. Ah. This are no teeth. Okay, so the arrow with teeth already over. This was the arrow with teeth. This is arrow with teeth. This arrow with teeth. Okay, so arrow with teeth already over. All these are all arrow with teeth already over. Got it? Okay, this are no arrow with teeth. So you want a good aggressive entry, you can. But this one, arrow with teeth, break six month high, already over. So we have first, first arrow with teeth, break six month high. Oh, but you can you can you count how many arrow with teeth ready? We have one, two, three, three arrow with teeth ready. So even at the fourth arrow with teeth, this arrow with teeth using the standard entry, we won't enter already. Okay, using the um, break six one high entry, you can still do still do. Okay, up to three positions. Okay. So if not, then thank you guys. You know, uh, for those SMT graduate, we can always discuss inside the graduates group. Okay, we can always discuss this inside the SMT graduates group. Okay, for those that are not in our community, I want to encourage you all to join us in our part of to become part of our community. Learn how to do it for yourself. You know, uh, for SMT graduates, please can encourage them one more time to join us together in the SMT, can you type in SMT? So you encourage them to become part of this, our community. Okay, for those joining us in the public, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And let's, let's see any announcement. Let's see any announcement, okay? Uh, I always forget announcement. Announcement for today is... Oh yes, we have one announcement. Do you all know who is this person called uh, Jack Schrager? The one who wrote Market Wizard. Don't know. Ah. You all know who is this person? So many don't know. Ah. Market Wizard, this guy, right? Jack Schrager, okay. A market Wizard. I don't know how to pronounce his name, Jack Schrager, okay? So he interviewed uh, this guy, okay? Jack Schrager, you all know him, right? Okay? So uh, some of you all know him, okay? Uh, he he interviewed all the top traders in the world. Guys, when I talk about top traders in the world, I'm not talking about those that say they are top traders in the world. Uh. I'm talking about people with uh, verified records. Uh. Uh, Richard Dennis, one of the, um, one of the um, original turtle. Paul Tudor Jones, you all don't know, please go and Google who is Paul Tudor Jones, okay? One of the uh, follower of uh, um, trend following. Ed Sakoda, okay? Ed Sakoda, I think you all know, okay? He also interviewed, interviewed uh, Larry Hyde, okay? I think I, I also interviewed Larry Hyde before. Uh, Ed Sakoda is another legend, okay? Please go and Google all these names, who are these people, okay? Uh, and he, he also uh, interviewed some other people in this thing, okay? How many want to uh talk to him or ask him questions type yes if you want to do that okay 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 this are not he interviewed with her I'm not say they are good people okay these are really good people okay please go and do your research okay so uh i will be having an interview with him soon 
Okay. Uh, this time not he interview me uh, because I don't uh, cannot make it uh, cannot make it to interview him uh. <laughs> I, he, he will interview me I will interview him uh. okay so it will be coming soon okay he will be coming soon and then we will do an interview together okay uh, and he also wrote a uh, stock market wizard okay and uh, stock market wizard is and so also another book okay that is if you go and google us he's like a inspirational figure in trading okay last time when i was young i will read his book for inspiration okay so i'll be doing an interview with him okay and he interviewed all almost all the legends in in the in the trading world okay so uh, we have a good chance okay to do that uh, i will post up more details okay of um of that okay uh in the future okay SMT graduates, you know, I will let you all know when is the next one. Um, besides that, nothing else. Okay. If not, thank you very much, guys. Thanks for being here. And uh, please like and share the post, guys. Please like and share the post. I will see you all um, next week for the graduates and hope to see you all next Tuesday. The next event for webinar is next on the 1st of August. So there's those who can make it on 1st of August. Sign up, colinsia.com slash SWB. I will see you next Tuesday also. If not, then thank you. Hey, hey, 1st of September. 1st of September, I will I will see you in the webinar. Go, go to colinsia.com slash SWB. I'll see you on 1st of September. If not, then thank you. See you in the Facebook group. Okay, thank you. Bye.